Junior, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Yeah. Junior, aren't you excited? It's our first Valentine's Day together. Yeah, it's fun. Junior, come on, pay attention to me. Hold on, I'm playing Black Ops 3 Zombies with my friends. But Junior, Valentine's Day. Look, I'm on round 32. I have three pack of punch guns with mule kick. I have speed cola, double top root beer, and juggernaut. I can't go down right now. What? Look, Cody has the water waffle. Hold on. Oh, you bitch! Oh, you bitch! Turn it back on! Junior, come on! Let's talk about Valentine's Day! What about it? You're supposed to get me something! I got you the best gift ever! It's the greatest gift ever! You've always asked for it! Really? Yeah, it's in my closet! Oh my god, Junior! You do love me! I'm gonna go home right now and go straight to bed so I can wake up and it's Valentine's Day already! <laughs> Stupid bitch! Oh, we lost. Oh, I went down. Oh, I bet they tried to revive me and they all died. Oh, Cody had the Wonder Waffle. I'm never gonna hear the end of this. What the fuck was that, Junior? Yeah, dude, it's like you weren't even trying. Why did you keep going down? Yeah, I had Quick Revive, and I kept trying to revive you over and over again, but you just kept going down. I had to use my monkeys, Junior, my monkeys. Are you blind? Why did you keep dying, dude? Yeah, and after you went down, we got double points, but we couldn't even use them because you just kept going down. And I had the Wonder Waffle with Pack-A-Punch. Why didn't you use your Gobble Gum? Well, I had the Gobble Gum that makes you invisible to zombies for 10 seconds, but I wasn't able to use it because Penelope turned off the TV. Oh, I know we didn't because you're a stupid girlfriend, dude. I'm over this. Why was she mad? Because tomorrow's Valentine's Day and she wants me to get her something good. What did you get her? Well, nothing. Uh, but I, I don't know what to get her. But I lied to her and told her I got her the greatest gift ever. Maybe you should kick her in the teeth. That's the perfect gift, dude. Cody, what should I get her? I don't know. Have you tried asking her? She said that she won't tell me because I should already know what she likes. Well, I don't know what to get girls. I like wiener. Joseph, what should I get her? Dude, I don't have a girlfriend. Maybe she just kick her in the teeth. Come on, guys. Help me think of something to get her. Joseph, let's go play duos in Black Ops. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to invite me? <laughs> no. What? Oh, come on, guys. Oh. Who, who is someone that would know what Penelope likes? <gasps> her dad. And her dad's a police officer. I'm calling 911. Okay, I'm calling 911. 911, what's your emergency? Ah, someone just broke into my house and stabbed my dad five times. He's going for my mom. Come quick. Hey, somebody called the cops. Where's the killer? Oh, I lied about that. Oh, you little rascal. You really got me. I thought there was a killer here. You know, I sped here as fast as I could, ran straight over my neighbor's cat. I mean, I really creamed that little fucker. Yeah, he's probably going to bring that up at the next HOA meeting. Oh, God damn it. They're going to put speed bumps in my neighborhood, aren't they? Probably right in front of my house, too. So thank you. Thank you for that. What, what do you want? Well, I'm dating your daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Hey, 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 quick word of advice. If she's anything like her mother, she's going to grow up to be really fat and a huge bitch. And she's going to cheat on you in a Walmart parking lot with a whole bunch of guys. But you didn't hear that from me. Well, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I just don't know what to get her. I don't know, get her chocolates or a candy cane or whatever the hell girls like, I don't know. Well, what are you going to get your wife? Well, I'd kick her in the teeth if I had legs, but I guess I'll just take her to Olive Garden. She really likes to test the limit on those unlimited breadsticks. But hey, it's a fair trade, because she eats some breadsticks, and then she eats my breadstick, if you know what I mean. It's the only day of the year she does that, other than my birthday. And let me tell you, it is subpar. Well, I just thought since maybe she's your daughter, you would know what to get her for Valentine's Day. Listen, you're asking the wrong guy. I hate Valentine's Day. Why do you hate Valentine's Day? Oh, boy, do I have a fun little animation for you. So I was a senior in high school, and I was a bit of a ladies' man. I had made out with at least three of the girls from the chess club. Not a lot of people were going after those girls, so I volunteered. But then, one day, I decided to go after a bigger prize. Katie Knockers with the Big Ham Hawkers. She was the hottest, bustiest girl in school. You know, because of her Big Knockers, a.k.a. Ham Hawkers. It was Valentine's Day, and they had this candy gram that you could send to a girl you liked, where some of the kids from the Glee Club would sing to them and hand them a note saying you liked them and shit. So I paid the $15, and I said, send this to Katie Knockers with the big ham hawkers. But one of the kids in the Glee Club, Dyslexic Dylan, wrote the wrong name down, and the candy gram was given to Deborah Dimpleass, one of the fattest, ugliest, stinkiest, resting bitch face girls in school. They gave her the candy gram and said, this is from Brooklyn Guy, and man was I so embarrassed. But Deborah loved it, I think. She wouldn't leave me alone. She came over to my house, and I tried hiding from her, but my mom answered the door, and she thought she was pregnant. And I told her, no, mom, she's just fat. But my mom made me marry her anyway. I always wondered what would have happened if I had given the candy gram to Katie Knockers. I heard she's a supermodel now. So that's why I hate Valentine's Day. I was just one dyslexic kid away from being with Katie Knockers with the big ham hawkers. But instead, I get my big, fat, ugly bitch of an ex-wife. So what made you marry her? My mom made me marry her because she thought she was pregnant. I had to take care of a food baby. But yeah, later I did get her pregnant. But that's another animation for another website. So you don't have any idea of what Penelope might like? Like, the whole time you've raised her, she's never said something that she likes? Well, when she was a little kid, she really liked Minnie Mouse. 
else. I mean, we could never actually afford to go to Disney World, but we would always drive down there and look at Disney World through the fence. And she would say, Daddy, can we go inside? And I'd say, no, honey, we can't afford it. Let's go. But Minnie Mouse did wave at her one time. She was very excited until security came and told us we had to leave the property. Well, I can't afford to take her to Disney World. I mean, shit, neither can I. Well, so if she likes Minnie Mouse, <gasps> What if we brought Minnie Mouse here? How are we gonna do that? Well, you're a cop. Why don't you go to Disney World and say, hey, Minnie Mouse, I need to interrogate you about a crime. And you bring Minnie Mouse here on Valentine's Day just to meet Pen Penelope, and then she'll get really excited and she'll love me. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I think she would lose her shit if she could meet Minnie Mouse. That would be the greatest gift of all time. Please do that for me. Please do that for me, please. Okay, okay, I'll do it. But it's gonna take me a day because I gotta drive all the way down there. But you owe me, kid. I'm doing you a big favor here. Oh, Penelope's gonna love this Valentine's Day. This is the greatest gift ever. Where is he with Minnie Mouse? Oh, hey kid, I'm back from Disney. It was a six hour ride there and back. Man, my balls are sore. Ooh, is this your son? Uh, no, I only have a daughter. Oh, do you think your daughter will accept me as her new mommy? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sure she's gonna love you. What was that about? Listen, man, I pull up to Disney, right? And I say, hey Minnie, come here, hop in my car. She hops in, no questions asked. And then on the whole six hour drive back here, gob, she's eating my cheese. Wh what? Don't judge, man, it's not the first time I banged a rat. My ex-wife was hideous. Wh isn't she married? to Mickey Mouse? Yeah, but yeah, he's not gonna find out. But listen, I need you to get Penelope here right now before Mickey realizes that Minnie's missing. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Wh who's that? What if it's Mickey? Wait, you turned your location off, right? No! Oh, you bitch! What if we just tell him about us? He'll understand! N no, no, he, he won't understand our love between a human and a mouse? That That's absurd! Oh, you're right! We can just tell him later! Yeah, later. We'll tell him later. For right now, we'll just say you're doing a meet and greet and we're paying you, okay? So just, just sit right there. Okay! Okay, kid, get Penelope here right now. I'm gonna go distract Mickey. Uh, hello? Oh, hiya, pal. Is Minnie Mouse here? Oh, no, there's no Minnie here. <laughs> Darling, go wait in the car. I'll call you and Goofy if I need you. <laughs> Listen, ma'am, I trapped Minnie's location here. Why is she here? Listen, man, I think there's been a big misunderstanding. You see, my daughter's a big Minnie Mouse fan, so I paid Minnie to do a meet and greet here. Oh, well, Minnie doesn't do business under the table without me. Oh, she was doing some business under the table. Oh, well, how about I go to your house and sleep with your wife? I mean, hey, have at it, man. Oh, Goofy, go bang this man's wife. With pleasure, Mickey. Goofy's on his way to bang your wife. Look, let's just come inside. Oh, Goofy will. He doesn't pull up. No, no, I mean, come inside and I'll take you to Minnie. See, there she is. Minnie, what are you doing here? Oh, Mickey, I'm here to meet this man's daughter for a meet and greet. No, you're not, Minnie. I told you you're not doing business without me. We're going back to Disney World right now. Wait, wait, wait. Can't you just meet my daughter first? Yeah, please. No! Oh, come on, Mickey. They're paying me. How much? Uh, a thousand dollars. Where's the money? Um, I, 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 I cash apped it. Let me see your cash app. Uh, I, I logged out because it was being weird. So now, oh, oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Maybe it's cash app. Hello? Boy, you'll never guess who was at the front door. Who? It's Goofy. The hook. Karen, don't answer the door. Oh, I already did, Boyney. Okay, but don't let him in. Oh, this is such a lovely house. Can I see the bedroom? Yeah, it's down the hall. Karen, don't show him the bedroom. Oh, what a bouncy bed. You want to bounce on it with me? Sure. Hold on, Boyney. I'm going to put the phone down. No, 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 Karen, Karen, don't. Take your clothes off. It's easier to bounce that way. No, Karen, don't do that. The hook. The hook. The hook. Goofy's at my house banging my wife. I told you Goofy doesn't play. She's part of the goof troop now. Kid, where the hell is Penelope? <gasps> that must be her. Okay, I'll go, I'll go I'll answer the door. Hello? Happy Valentine's Day, Junior. I got you a Hello Kitty. Oh, exactly what I like. Hello Kitty. You like cats, Junior. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, what'd you get me? Well, I got you a meet and greet with a really famous girl. <gasps> oh my God, who? Billie Eilish? No. Oh. Someone you've always wanted to meet and greet with. Okay. Come on up. I got you a meet and greet with Minnie Mouse. Oh, Minnie Mouse? Yeah, remember Penelope? You said you love Minnie Mouse. Yeah, when I was like five. But remember that one time she waved at you through the gate for free? You waved at them for free? I'm sorry, Mickey. You know we don't wave at poor people. Your time is up. Minnie, let's get out of here. Mickey, before we go, there's something I have to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need to tell him anything. Oh, yeah, Minnie? Well, what is it? Well, me and this man, we're in love. You're what? Dad? She, she doesn't know what she's talking about. We may love multiple times. Yo, what? Dad? Listen, Goofy's railing my wife right now, so I think we're even. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna go rail your wife now, too! Dad? Please don't. Oh, now we can be together forever. Oh, God, I'm getting a phone call. Let's put that on speaker. Hello? Go, move out of the way. It's my turn. I'm 
I gotta give her my steamboat willy! Do it, Mickey! Oh, hot dog! Oh, oh. What, do you have a turd, Mickey? No, Goofy, move out of the way! I'm still going! Oh, oh. <laughs> Donald, it's still crowded over here! Go to the other side! Oh. Why didn't you give me that choice, Mickey? Because Donald's smaller! Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna hang out. Dad? I'll see you at home, Penelope. Wait, baby, wait for me! I'm so sorry I caused all this. I just didn't know what to get you for Valentine's Day. Thanks for the Hello Kitty. I'll, I'll leave you alone. You drive me up to KFC so I can get some chicken? No, your boy Dougie. I'm not gonna drive you to get some KFC. But I'm really, really so, so hungry good. I don't care how so hungry good you are. So good. Oh, li listen, look, you can drive yourself. But I ain't got some car. Are you gonna buy me a car? What? No, I'm not gonna buy you a car, Dougie. Are you gonna buy me that donk with the wagon? What? No donks, no wagons. If you want a car, you can get a job and save up your own money. But I can't get a job because I'm disabled. How are you disabled? I can't read because I'm a dinosaur. What? Oh, there's some jobs that don't involve reading, like you can go to McDonald's and make cheeseburgers. Well, how am I going to know where the cheese is if I can't read? You said you can't read. You can still see. You can see cheese. What about the pickles? There's someone at the door. Listen, if you want a job, go, go, go ask someone for a job, okay? Okay, but I don't know how to ask. Oh, go, go ask someone. Go. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Marvin. What, Goodman, what are you doing here? I just wanted to show you the most recent thing I bought. It's a money-counting robot. A money-counting robot? Yeah, because I have so much money that I'm afraid I might miscount. Because my fingers start hurting, my eyes start hurting. So I bought Buck Buddy here so he can count my money for me. I am Buck Buddy. I count money. Can I come inside and show you how he works? Well, actually, I'm really busy right now. Great! Come on! What? <laughs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It's Goodman. He wants to show off his money-counting robot. All right, Marvin, check it out. Here's a pile of $100,000. Watch him count it. Wait, you already know it's $100,000. He doesn't have to count it. Well, I just want to show off. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. So all he does is count your money? 50, yep, 000, look at him go. 60,000. That's a lot of money. 70, it sure is. 000, 80,000. I think you could count faster than this. Well, when you're a billionaire and you have billions of dollars, it gets tiring counting all that money. $100,000. Well, yay, you counted it. Now you can leave. Well, hold on. There's more money. Count it. Shit. Now I have to restart. Well, no, no. Count it somewhere else. We, we're busy. No, Marvin. I'm going to leave him here with you, okay? Well, why? Because I hate hearing his stupid voice. I'll be back later to pick him up. Well, no, just don't go. 60,000. 70,000. 80,000. All right, baby, let's go downstairs and eat something. This is annoying. Okay. 100,000. 110,000. 120,000. What's that little robot do? Don't distract me. I'm counting money. But I got some questions to ask you. I said don't distract me. Wait. Shit. Now I have to start over. 10,000. Yo, man, I think you got a little wire loose in the bag. Let me look at it for you. Really? Yeah. Ow, Ooh. stop it. Ooh. Ow. All right, Marvin, I made chicken salad sandwiches. They look so good, baby. Marvin, you should really go upstairs and check on that robot. Make sure no one's messing with it trying to steal the money. Good thinking, baby. I don't want to be responsible if money goes missing. <sighs> now that I'm inside this money count robot, the guy's going to keep giving me money to count, and I'm going to keep taking it. I'm going to be rich. <laughs> hey, Buck Buddy, how's the counting the money going? Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, bop. About two or thirty, I'm booty. Two or thirty. What? How's the money counting going? Oh, I'm counting it. I mean, I'm, I he go ten thousand dollars right here. He go no two hundred dollars. He go a hundred dollars. And I think, I, actually, I think so I'm done counting it. So I'm gonna take this money back to the boss man. To Goodman? Yeah, the good man who gave me all this money. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know how to get back, right? Yeah, I know how to get to the car dealerships, and the... I know how to do what I'm doing. A what? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hold on. All right. Bye, Buck Buddy. Well, I'm glad he's gone. Marvin, is everything okay with the robot? Yeah, he just got done counting the money, so now he's walking back to Goodman right now. Thank God. I hate it when Goodman leaves his expensive things here. Yeah, and then we always lose it, and I'm responsible. Now I get to eat my sandwich. What was that? Is, is that a car running? Who is that? What? Dougie! Your boy. Well, what is this? It's a hell cat. A kitty cat from hell. How did you get this? I bought it. How'd you box it? With money. Where'd you get the money? I got me a job. Oh, you got a job? What kind of job did you get? I'm an accountant, because I account money. How'd you get an accountant job? You don't have a degree. Oh, I got 
plenty of degrees. It's currently 87 degrees outside. <laughs> Dougie, how did you get an accounting job? You, you can't read, so how can you count? Because I can count with numbers. <sighs> okay, well listen, as long as you got this car legally, that's all that matters. I got it legally, kind of. Kind of? Look, I don't want to know the kind of. Just drive safe, and I'm proud of you for getting a job. All right, folks, I'm going to run up to the KFC. You want to come? No, I don't want to come. All right, what about the poop pies? Not the Popeyes. I love it, chicken for a poo poo. Okay, look, you have fun driving. <laughs> Oh man, now I can finally eat my sandwich. Wait, wait, where's my sandwich? I'm so sorry, Marvin. I didn't think you were gonna eat it, so I gave it to Chiffy. Thanks, Daddy. It was delicious, but you can still have my pickle. Hi, Aya. I think I just lost my appetite. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy ate my sandwich. Hey, Marvin, I'm here to pick up my robot. Oh, well, he just left with the money. He said he was bringing it to you. Excuse me? Yeah, he got done counting the money, and he picked it up and said, I'm taking this to Goodman. He can't do that. All he knows how to do is just count money. What, what, no, but he said he was bringing it to Goodman. That's impossible, Marvin. He doesn't know names. All he knows how to do is count money. That's it. Well, he said he said Goodman, and, and he got done counting the money. He, he left. Marvin, did you take my money, and this is your stupid excuse on how to get away with it? Well, no, I didn't take your money. Your dumb robot picked up the money and left. I left that money here with you, so you're responsible for it. If you don't give me my money back, I'm calling the police. But I didn't take your money. Your robot took it. Do you know anyone else who could have taken the money? No. I mean, no. who else would take the money? And the... Oh. Yeah, I... I know someone who could have taken it. I have to call someone. Hold on. All right, I'm calling my friend who, who may have taken the money. Yo, it's your boy, Dougie. Holla at your boy. Uh, hey, Dougie, it, it's Marvin. Yo, Marvin, you want me to pick you up some poo-poo chicken and some bisses? No, 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 no poo-poo chicken or bisses. Um, I'm calling because I realized that car you got was very expensive. Yeah, I bought it with money. Yeah, yeah, so the money. So there was a robot counting a bunch of money on the couch, and I was wondering if maybe you saw that robot with the money? Nah, man, I ain't seen no boobops with the money. Uh, okay, well, did you see him, like, outside? Because he was walking with the money. Did, did you did you possibly take the money? Oh, I man, no, I ain't take no money. But but what would happen if I did? Well, if you did, you would get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble if I took the money. You're gonna get in a lot of trouble if you took the money. Are they gonna give me a spanking? You're, you're gonna get a big spanking if you took that money. Oh, well, I ain't taking no money, folks. He took the money. He's in a green challenger. All right, well, I'm calling the police. Yeah, yeah, you should. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we're looking for a green sports car. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Officer Cuddlesworth, that is a green sports car. Wait, you're colorblind, how would you know? Well, let's go. Ooh, I got me some KFC chickens. It's so good. What the, the poo -poo, why are they pulling me over? I ain't do nothing. Well, I'll offer this chicken. All right, Officer Cuddlesworth, we got him pulled over. Now, this guy's wanted for stealing over $100,000, so if he tries anything, you bite his hand off. <laughs> I hope that means you understand. Okay, let's go. Excuse me, sir, roll your window down. I got me some chicken. Yeah, okay, just roll your window down. All the way down. This is all I legally behave to. Would you please just roll your window down? Man, I can't believe you be doing this to me. I know my rights. Why you got to be all that pull me over? Oh, okay, look, y your car matches the description of someone whose car who stole over $100,000 and a money counting robot. I ain't got $100,000 in a robot. Well, that's interesting because I can see both of those things from here. Oh, okay. So it's illegal for me to have some money in a robot. Well, it's definitely suspicious when there's somebody who's wanted that matches that description. You want some chicken? No, you're not going to bribe me with chicken. It's Colonel Sanders. That's... 11 herbs and spices. Yeah, that's very tempting, but I'm more of a Popeyes man. Okay, well, we can go to Boo Boo. Get in the car. Let's go. No, no. Look, I'm going to have to search your car. Why you got to search my car? I ain't do nothing wrong. Well, I have probable cause because I'm seeing some pretty suspicious stuff right here. All right, well, how about you turn around and close your eyes and give me 30 seconds to hide it all? Well, we're not playing hide and seek with the evidence. Well, you got some dog. That's cheating. That's two against one. <sighs> yeah, you're right. That's not fair. Okay, but you only have 30 seconds. All right. Okay. His head. What? Uh, oh, okay. Well, okay. I can obviously see what you did. You didn't have to throw away the chicken. That part wasn't a crime. I wouldn't give it back. Well, I mean, if you really want it, it was on the ground, but I mean, you can have the. Oh, thank you. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to arrest you because I can see what you did. Why? 
Hey, it's not in my car, so it's not mine. I ain't do it. But it was in your car, and now it's on the ground. I saw it. How you know it wasn't there before? Okay, that's it. You're under arrest. Oh. All right, make you one phone call. Do you know the number to Popeyes? I would suggest you not call Popeyes. Why? You don't think they deliver? No, I, I would suggest you call someone who can pay your bail. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Marvin! It's your boy, Dougie. Hey, Dougie. And I was in trouble. What'd you do? This mean, bad police officer man arrested me for no reason. Uh, he stole a bunch of money in a robot, and then he used the money to buy a car. I ain't do that, Marvin, I promise. Well, I, I, I think you did do that, Dougie. Well, he doesn't have no proofs. All the evidence was all on the ground outside the car. Yeah, he threw the evidence on the ground because I let him hide it. So I, I probably shouldn't have done that. But he still don't have no proof that it was even in my cars for the first place. Well, listen, Dougie. When you do bad things, you go to jail. But see, Marvin, I ain't do nothing. Can you please come bail me out? I'm scared. How much is your bail? How much is the bail? It's about $100,000. Oh, it's not that much. It's only $100,000. $100,000? I don't have that, Dougie. Oh, Dad, can you at least bring me some chicken? I'm so hungry. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, I love you. <sighs> say it back. I, I love you. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. He says he's gonna bring me some chicken. Yep. Okay, back in your cell. All right, he's in here. Marvin, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Dougie. Oh, Marvin, I can hardly recognize you. I've been in here for so long. The walls are closing in and I'm going crazy. He's been in there for barely a minute. Well, I brought you your KFC. <gasps> oh, you brought me to KFC? Try pushing it through the bars. Uh, okay. I, I probably shouldn't. I, I really could search that. Okay. Oh, thanks for the chicken, Marvin. Well, how long is he going to be in there, officer? Well, I hate to say it, but probably until the next Dougie video. Well, you hear that, Dougie? You're going to be in there for a long time. Oh. Uh, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I did, Marvin. Next time, I won't buy such a noticeable car, and I won't keep on avenues. That's, that's all I learned. <sighs> Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, Cody, did you know your mom's famous? Yeah, dude, they put her in a magazine twice. I didn't know your mom was a model. It's like a special coloring magazine where you get to color pictures of the models. Like, look, here's your mom waving her tail, and here's your mom just standing there. Oh, good. My mom's a hippo now. That's new. A big, fat hippo, because your mom's fat. No, I get it. And your mom's still a whale. Classic. Yeah, because she's a big, fat whale. Guys, I get it. Can we please do something else? Cody, why is your shirt so small? Oh, I got an extra small shirt to show off my abs. Here, peep them. Actually, this is a new shirt and it shrunk when my mom washed it, but it's still a good conversation starter. Cody, you have like a little black piece of something in your tooth. Wait, what? Yeah, like show me your tooth. Ah. Uh, yeah, you have like a little black dot, like a piece of pepper in your tooth. A piece of pepper? I haven't eaten any pepper today. Is it gone? Sure. Okay. You want to help us color a picture of your mom? No, guys, I said I want to do something else. Well, you can start by getting that piece of pepper out of your tooth. Wait, you said it was gone. Junior, stupid friends, lunch is ready. Oh, guys, Chef B said lunch is ready. Let's go eat. Wait, Junior, is there something in my tooth or not? Whoa, look at these sandwiches. Dude, Chef B did not make this. He got this off of Uber Eats, I can tell. Pardon my language, but pretty bitchin' lunch, Chef Pee, Pee. A friggin' goog? What did I do to deserve this? And what's this? Cheez-Its? Don't mind if I do. Let me just light one of these joints up real quick. Damn it! What's wrong, Cody? I think the cheese it was too hot. It hurt my tooth. Cheese its aren't hot. They have no temperature, Cody. Well, it hurt my tooth when I bit into it. Maybe it's that piece of pepper that's on your tooth. Wait, do I have something on my tooth or not? Yes. What? You said I didn't. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What, what do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe a cavity. No, no, no. That's impossible, guys. It can't be a cavity. I brush my teeth two times a month. Once on the first and once on the fifteenth. I think you're supposed to brush your teeth two times a day. No, that would be ridiculous, Junior. That would waste too much toothpaste. All that toothpaste going down the drain would end up in the ocean. Fish don't have teeth. They don't need toothpaste. And dental floss that would choke a sea turtle. No, thank you. Well, you're supposed to brush your teeth every day, Cody. Well, cavemen didn't brush their teeth and they turned out fine. Cavemen died when they were like 20. Yeah, from like falling off a boulder and getting eaten by a bat, not their teeth. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, Cody. I'll eat my sandwich. What, do you guys really think it's a, it's a cavity? I think it's a cavity, Cody. Well, that would be really bad, you guys. If my parents find out I have a cavity, they'll ground me and send me to Europe. Send you to Europe? Why? Well, they say that Europe is full of people who have bad teeth, and that's where people with bad teeth belong. So if they find out I have a cavity, they'll send me to Europe. Well, then we'll never see you again. I know. This is bad, guys. Okay, let's call a dentist and get your tooth fixed so your parents will never find out. Okay. Well, I want more of these Cheez-Its. 
Uh, damn it! Okay, fine, let's call this dentist. Come on. Hey, Leah, somebody call a dentist? Yeah, Cody has a cavity. Hey, hey, nobody has a cavity until I say they have a cavity. I'm the dentist. I have a degree. Do you have a degree? No. That's what I thought. Now shut up. How's my breath smell? Smell like onions? I didn't want onions on my sandwich, but they put them on there anyway. Nobody ever listens to me. Hey, you, you like onions? No. Let me see your teeth. Okay. Those are actually pretty nice. Thank you. Okay, but nobody has a cavity until I say they do. Got it? Now say ah. Ah. Uh, Oh, no, that, that actually is a cavity. Sorry, you knew what you were talking about. Are you sure you're not a dentist? I'm not a dentist. Do you want to be my dental assistant? You're pretty good at it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you think we should do now? Uh, fix his cavity. Hmm, hmm, yes, I concur. Okay, so I could do one of two things here. I could use no pain meds and just drill right into your tooth, which would hurt really bad, but you'd be a badass. Or I could use pain meds and drill into your tooth, but you'd be a little bitch baby. I don't want to be a little bitch baby. Yeah, you don't want to be that, Cody. So no pain meds? No pain meds. Yes! Okay, but first we're gonna have to bill your parents' insurance. No, 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 we can't tell my parents about this. Yeah, if his parents find out he has a cavity, they're gonna send him to Europe. Yeah, he'll have to learn to say bonjour. That's France, Joseph, not Europe. Dude, that's still in Europe. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Gu guys, can we just focus here, please? Joseph's trying to say that Ratatouille was filmed in Europe. Well, it wasn't filmed anywhere. It was animated. It wasn't called Europea Tui. Well, it wasn't called France Tui either. It, it was called Ratatouille because there were rats, Cody. Well, I know that, but where it was filmed doesn't matter. It, it's all that matters. It was filmed in France. They were French. W which is in Europe. But no, yes. Y yes. Yes, it is. Yes. So shut up. Stop arguing about it, Cody. But he doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Never does. Uh, are, are we still talking about teeth here? Oh yeah, we gotta fix his cavity. So if, he don't, if we don't use the insurance, how much does it cost in cash? Oh, well, it's gonna cost about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? We don't have that kind of money. Well, the medical bills cost money. This ain't Europe. Oh, okay, well, what else do you suggest we do? Um, let me see those teeth again. Uh, well, they do kind of look like baby teeth. I, I think maybe I could probably pull them out. Then you could just say you lost it. But Cody, you still have baby teeth? Yeah, I hit puberty late. What? Okay, so how much will it cost to take the tooth out? It would still cost about $1,000. What? We don't have that kind of money! I'm sorry, but Dennis gotta make money somehow. Uh, I, I guess you guys could probably take it out on your own for free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? What's mm -hmm. going on? What? I don't know. This is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. What the hell was that about, Junior? I was agreeing. I was like, we can take it out ourselves. We don't need him. Why didn't you just say that? Why were you being all secretive about it? I didn't want him to know because like, I didn't want him to get mad that we weren't going to use him. But why were you making such a big deal out of it? Just say Cody, it. Cody, how about this? We tie a string around your tooth. We slam a door. That tooth comes out. You just tell your parents you lost your tooth. Uh, okay. Anything did not go to Europe. Let's go. Okay, Cody. I have the string tied to this doorknob and your tooth. So when I slam this door, your tooth's going to come flying out. Okay. Oh, did it come out? No, it just hit me with the door. I didn't slam it hard enough. <sighs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ow! Did it work? No! Dude, let me try it. <sighs> Ow! You guys are just beating me up with the door now. Oh, the door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull its tooth out. Wait, what? The door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull your tooth out. It doesn't have any horsepower. It's a door. Oh, we should use a car. That's right. No. Let's go use a car, Cody. What? Okay, Jeffy, this is what we need you to do. We have this string attached to your car all the way to Cody's tooth. When I say go, you floor it so it pulls his tooth out. Got it, Junior. All right, let's go tell Cody what's going on. Okay, dude. All right, Cody, when I yell go, Jeffy's gonna speed off and pull your tooth out with his car. Are you sure this is safe, Junior? Yeah, it's safe. I tied the string to the tire so all the power can pull your tooth out. What, the tire? Go, Jeffy! Yo, Junior! Stop! <laughs> Ow. Man, Cody, that tooth is really in there. Junior, I could have been killed. If that string hadn't broke, I would have gotten pulled under the tires and run over. Dude, I knew we should have used rope. Oh, yeah, rope would have been a lot stronger. No, we shouldn't have done it at all. Man, Cody, your face looks really bad. Yeah, my face really hurts from the road rash. I mean, it looks better than the freckles. Yeah, you look like Freddy Cougar. Cougar. That's what I said. No, no, you said Cougar. Cougar Tui? Ratatouille? What? What? No, guys, we need to get this tooth out somehow. Ooh, I, I got an idea. That isn't dangerous. Aw, I was gonna say we push it out of a hot air balloon. Ooh, that would've been awesome. How would that get the tooth out? When you hit the ground, your tooth would fly out. On oh, impact. Yeah. Guys, come up with something better. Ooh, Joseph, you see that weight over there? Grab it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna like this one, Cody. It's gonna work. Okay, so we tie a string around this weight, and then we throw it off a balcony, and then the string's attached to your tooth, and then the weight from the weight pulls the tooth out your mouth. Now, now that, that could work. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Cody, I'm gonna drop this weight off the balcony and the force of it should pull your tooth out, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah! Cody, did the tooth come out? No, I think I broke my nose. Dang it, dude, this tooth is persistent. You wanna try the weight one more time, Cody? No! Well, I have no more ideas then. Ooh, I think I have an idea, dude, follow me. Oh, come on, Cody. I don't think I want to. Come on! 
Okay, Joseph, what's your plan? I hired a professional boxer to knock his teeth out. I mean, tooth out. Wait, which is it? Teeth or tooth? Tomato, tomato. No, no, it's not the same thing. One is more than the other. Yeah, I think you'd mean tomato, tomatoes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, exactly, but I just want the tomato. Okay, you can eat after we fix your cavity. But no, I mean the tooth. Has a cavity in it. We're gonna get it fixed. What? Just punch me. Okay, uh, where's the boxer at? Uh, he's here right now. Oh, what sucker wanna get his teeth knocked out? Oh, he's right here. So, Cody, open your mouth. Uh, you see that tooth with a cavity in it? We want you to knock that tooth out. Okay, I've knocked plenty of teeth out. This one's gonna be a problem. All right, Cody, stand real still. All right, punch him. <laughs> oh, I connected that one. I connected that one. Oh, Ooh. Cody, you okay? <sighs> He did it! He knocked my tooth out! Wait, why is there two? Junior, did he get it? Uh, he didn't knock out the tooth with the cavity. Wh what? That means he knocked out my two good teeth? They're obviously not that good if they came out that easily. Yeah, they're also yellow. I wouldn't say they're good teeth. I think that cavity is making your tooth stronger. No, this is stupid. Just hit me again! <laughs> okay, did he get it? Uh, hit him again. <laughs> How about now? It's still in there. Hit him again. <laughs> okay, he has to have gotten it, right? Uh, do it again. Uh, 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 and one more time. Uh, I'm starting to enjoy this, Joseph. Oh, me too, dude. Do it again. Uh, Hit him as hard as you can. Uh, 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 <laughs> it still didn't work. I can hit him again. No, just leave. Uh, actually, 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 one more time. All uh, right. Oh, that tooth is still in there. Dude, I think that tooth made of steel or something. Yeah, I just, Cody, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I should just tell my parents I have a cavity. What, you want to live in Europe? I guess he really wants to eat those frog legs, dude. Yeah, whatever they eat there. We have frog legs here. You just want to see the pyramids. What? That's in Egypt. The Great Wall. Yeah. China. Uh, all right, listen, Um, I have an idea. I have some old leftover fireworks from the 4th no, of July. I no, can just tie a string no, around your tooth no, and no, on a rocket. No, and sh no. Why? Because it'll burn my face. A rocket won't burn your face. A rocket is really fast. So if I tie it to a rocket, a rocket will shoot up in the air and take your tooth to space. They're called fireworks. The fire will burn my face. Fireworks are really fast, Joseph. Yeah, they're really, really fast. Like the speed of light. You won't even feel it, dude. Yeah, it's so fast. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on. Okay. Okay, Cody, I tied a string around this rocket and around your tooth. So when I light the rocket, it's going to fly in the air and pull your tooth out. You know, now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Come on, Cody, the worst thing that could happen is that the tooth does not come out and the rocket takes you into space and you go see Jupiter. <laughs> I'd rather see your anus. <laughs> like, seriously, can we go to your room? Come on, Cody, you got to do the rocket. I don't know, guys, I'm scared. Don't bitch out now. Yeah, you have big balls, Cody, I know you do. I mean, I have pretty average-sized balls. Oh, come on, Look, are you going to do it or not? Okay. Okay, let me light it. Joseph, back up. Okay, dude. Okay, Joseph, I lit it. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. He might die. I know. Yeah! Whoa! I don't think he went to space, dude. Uh, let's go inside. So, dude, now that Cody's dead, who's gonna be our third friend? I guess Jeffy. Yeah. What? Yeah. Cody, you're still alive? Damn, you still kicking, bro? Yeah. You were supposed to kill the Sev, not join them. Yeah. You're supposed to bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. I hate you. I hate you. Let me see your tooth, Cody. Yeah. It's still there. Not even the firework pulled it out. I almost died. But what'd you see? Did you see space? I didn't see anything. My face was on fire. Uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna give up. Well, no, you can't give up. You have to go to Europe. Cody, I'm here to pick you up. Oh my God, Cody, what happened to you? Uh, he, he fell in the oven and it burned him up and then it accidentally burned a cavity into his tooth. Oh no, Cody, it's a good thing you didn't get that cavity from not brushing or else you'd have to go live in Europe. No, he didn't get it from not brushing. He got it because the oven burnt it into his tooth. Uh -huh. Yep. Come on, Cody. Let's go back home. We're gonna sue the oven company so Mommy can get paid. Uh, okay... What's wrong, Joseph? We're just such good friends, dude! I know! I wish we had friends like us! Oh, we're such good friends. We're so rare! Hey, Marvin, you know how I said I would cook you dinner tonight? Yeah, what'd you cook me? I made you pizza rolls! I thought you said you were going to cook me dinner. I did, Marvin. It was so easy. I put them in the microwave for 30 seconds, and when they were done, the microwave went beep. It's so cool. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm going to go make some more. <sighs> Let me try them. It's still frozen. <gasps> 
Walmart, bitch. Can I borrow five hundred dollars? See, I really need some money, but I don't want to get a job. I just want to sit back and collect cash. <laughs> My bitch, did you hear me? I said I need five hundred dollars, and I don't want to get the job. <laughs> oh, so you just gonna sit there and ignore me? Well, then forget you, my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life. I did. Yeah, I was choking on a pizza roll, and you did the Heimlich maneuver. I didn't lick your hiney. Well, no, no, you stopped me from choking, Dougie. What can I do to repay you? Oh, uh, you can give me a million bajillion dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Dougie. I want to give me five hundred dollars. I don't even have a five hundred dollars, Dougie. What? Is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, so I sat there and I recognized that you was choking. I said, oh no, my bibs is choking. My best friend, I got to save his life. So I went over there and I licked your hiney and you can't even give me $500 for saving your life. I don't have that kind of money. Is there anything else? Like, Is there anything else you want that I can do for you? Well, I do want some fried chicken Cheetos. You want some fried chicken and Cheetos? No, there's this new special edition Cheeto that tastes like fried chicken and I really want it. Can I go to the store and buy it? Yeah. Okay, see, that's easy. I can do that for you. Thank you for saving my life. I'm, I'm gonna go grab them right now. Thank you, my dips. Okay, Dougie, I got you regular and flaming hot Cheetos. Where's the fried chicken Cheetos at? I couldn't find those. All right, well, next time you choke it to death, you won't be able to find me. Well, no, look, Dougie, I got you two bags of Cheetos. Oh, so you think your life's only worth two bags of Cheetos? You think my life's only worth one bag of fried chicken Cheetos? Yeah, because I've never tried them before, and I really, really want to try them. Are you sure they even exist? I looked up and down the aisle. I could not find them. Yeah, my bitch, look. They right here. What, what kind of language is that? Cursive. That, that's not cursive. That's another language. It's like Arabic or like Chinese or something. Well, listen, I really want to try the fried chicken Cheetos because I bet they taste so really good. Well, I don't even know if those are real. Look, how about this? There's a number on the back of the Cheetos bag. Call that number and let's ask if they exist. Okay. Hopefully I get to talk to Chester Cheeto. Just call this number. Okay, Mom, it's, it's making some type of ringing sound like... That's what a phone does, Dougie. Hello, thank you for calling Cheetos Corporate. I hope you're having a dangerously cheesy day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Can I speak to Chester Cheeto? Ooh, he's in his office right now. Sorry. What? Give me the phone, Dougie. Hello? Hi. Listen, we just want to know where we can get the fried chicken Cheetos at. How do you know about those? Y you know what? Let me call you on my cell. He just hung up on me. It's ringing again. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I went to my car. I would get executed if they heard me talking about this. It's top secret. So, the fried chicken Cheetos were made in Thailand, but it was a mistake. The company tried to destroy all the bags of them, so there's only a few left. And I know who has them, but it ain't cheap. And he's weird, man. Like, sometimes, I send him pictures of my feet. Okay, so... Can I get some fried chicken Cheetos? Can't talk. I just tracked your address on my laptop. I'll send them your way. Hello? So am I gonna get the fried chicken Cheetos or not? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what, Dougie? I'm gonna go answer the door. If you hear me scream, call the cops. All right, folks. Uh, hello? Hello. I am the Prince of Dubai. My name is Prince Abu Dhabi. But you can just call me friend. And this is my camel, Camille Habib Habob. Camille as in camel, Habib Habob as in corn on the cob. You know you don't have to say that every single time I say your name. Well, then you don't have to ride on my back. You have to feed at work. You are a camel. It is your job. It is not my job to carry you. It is my job to carry water in my home, not your lazy ass. You do this every time and embarrass me in front of my friends! <coughs> Don't you hit me, I'll hit you back with my hoof! <coughs> That's it! I kill your family! Okay, 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 calm, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. What, what is going on? My friend Jonathan, who has very sexy feet by the way, he tells me you're looking for something that I maybe have, eh? Do you have fried chicken Cheetos? I do! I store them in Camille's hump. Well, can I possibly buy them? Hey, let's go upstairs and talk business, baby! Oh, okay. I told Camille to wait outside so he is not blabbering the whole time. So, you want these fried chicken Cheetos, huh? You like this shit, huh? Oh, my man, fuck, go, you got the Cheetos! I know, that's exactly what we need. How much can I pay you for them? Oh, see, I don't accept money because I am very rich. I'm a billionaire, but I do like to trade. You like to trade? Well, I can trade you two bags of Cheetos for your one bag. See, I own the gas station you bought those Cheetos at because I like sell oil and stuff, so no. Okay, I can trade you these pizza rolls. Ooh, I don't like pizza rolls, so no. Well, I don't really know what else I could trade you for them. Marvin, the microwave!
microwave's not working. I pressed the popcorn button and no popcorn came out. Well, did you put popcorn in the microwave? No, I put the pizza rolls in. That is the prettiest man I have ever seen. What? That's not a man, that's a woman. There's no way. Women aren't allowed to show their face or their feet. And those are the sexiest feet I have ever seen. Well, this is America. Women can show off whatever they want. Okay, I would trade you one bag Cheetos for your whore. What? No, she's not a whore. She's my wife. Okay, okay. How about two bags of Cheetos for your whore? I am not selling my wife for two bags of Cheetos. Thank you, Marvin. How about two bags of Cheetos and $100 million? Well, uh, yes, I will, yes. What? No, Marvin! Well, it's $100 million, baby! Okay, come on, whore. Let's go. What? But your owner sold it to me. Owner? L listen, listen, in America, we don't own people. Listen, you can't buy her for $100 million, no matter how much money you offer me. Oh, come on. She'll have her own knitter box at my house. See, in my country, women have the same rights as house cats. Plus, she'll be the prettiest of my 12 wives. You have 12 wives? Oh, yeah. Okay, listen, what other things could you want besides my wife? Well, I guess I could go for some slobbering on the knobbing. Oh, come on, baby, I won't even count it as cheating. For $100 million, you can slob on his knob and we get $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. No, Marvin! No, 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 see, I want you to do it, my friend, because you know how to make it feel good, and I want your mustache to tickle my taint. Come on, Marvin, $100 million and two bags of Cheetos. Ugh. Okay, for a hundred million dollars, I'll do it. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I never said about the hundred million dollars for the knob slobbing. Only the two bags of Cheetos, my friend. Okay, I'm not sucking knob for Cheetos. You can forget it, buddy. Listen, uh, is there anything else you want? Like, like, you can't get my wife, you can't get knob. Listen, what else do you want? Well, there is one thing, but it's impossible. What is it? I want Chester Cheeto to be my pet tiger. He's a cheetah. Yeah, same thing. Okay, I don't even think Chester Cheeto's real. I think he's just the mascot. Well, that's your issue to figure out. Okay, there's one person I think I can call to make this happen. It, just stay right here. Just don't leave. Just, oh. Okay, I'm calling the Cheetos corporate number. Please answer. Hello. Thank you for calling Cheetos corporate. I hope you're keeping it dangerously cheesy. Hey, it's me again. Oh, hey. Did my friend come over? Yeah, your friend came over, but he's not accepting money. He wants me to trade him something. Ooh, he asked you to slob on his knob, didn't he? <laughs> Classic Abu Dhabi. Yeah, listen, he wants me to bring him Chester Cheeto. Ooh, well, for you, I guess I can give you his address, but I warn you, he's in really rough shape. Yeah, please just text me the address. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now that's what I call dangerously cheesy. Hey. Huh? Who are you? How'd you know where to find me? Listen, Chester, I got a friend that really wants to meet you. You the cops? No. Hit that shit, man. Uh, no thank you. I've already had a lot of Cheetos today. Oh, hell yeah. More for me. Uh, it feels like my heart's about to explode from all the cheesiness. Just, just one more. Uh, I'm king of the world. Listen, Chester, I have a friend that really, really wants to meet you. Oh, yeah? He got Cheetos? Oh, yeah, he does. Hell, yeah, man. He even got, you know, fried chicken-flavored Cheetos. What did you just say? He has fried chicken-flavored Cheetos? The damn Cheeto company tried to take them all away from me. Tried to destroy every bag because they were so damn good. Man, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Well, he definitely got the Cheetos and the knob. Well, take me to him. You're going to have to hold my hand, though, because I'm blind. You're blind? Yeah, what do you think I wear these glasses for? I thought you wore them because you were cool. Nah, I'm blind as shit, man. Okay, come on. Okay, friend, here's Chester Cheeto. Oh, my Allah, you have brought me Chester Cheeto. What's going on, party people? Listen, Mr. Chester Cheeto, I have been your biggest fan for very many times, and I would love it for you to be my kitty cat. Sure, man, I don't give a shit, as long as there's those fried chicken Cheetos for me. Well, the problem is I promised my last two bags to these people. Ah, no deal then, man. But I'll tell you what, I would slob on some knob for some fried chicken Cheetos. Deal, 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 deal. Screw these people and I hope their mothers get banged by very many men. Bye. What the hell was that, Marvin? Do I not get the Cheetos? I guess not.
Listen, I felt very bad about saying your mother should get banged by very, very, very many men. So I decided to bring you one fried chicken Cheeto. But don't tell Jester. Well, Dougie, it looks like you get to try what the fried chicken Cheeto tastes like. Oh, I've waited so long for this. I finally get to try the fried chicken Cheeto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like shit. I'd rather have the $500. so I can get me some chicken from the KFC. KFC does not cost $50, Dougie. It does when you buy lops of it. Why do you need a lot of it? Because it's so really good. Well, I don't have $50, Dougie. I'm trying to watch TV, so go away. Whopper, 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 Whopper. Mickey D's is definitely better, but they're paying me to make this song at BK. Because there is no way you're actually eating here. Man, that commercial really made me want to go get some McDonald's. Well, if you go into McDonald's, can you run through KFC and give me the family-sized chicken with the business and the macaroni and cheese? No, Dougie. How about you get a job and make your own money? Well, I can't get a job because I'm a felon. How'd you become a felon? Well, there was this one time I had a job working at the cash register, and the manager said that the security cameras ain't work. So I stole $1,000 out the register. And come to find out, the security cameras did work, and they caught me red -handed. And, and, and when they was arresting me, I said, I thought you guys said that the security cameras ain't work. And the manager said, it was a trap. So now no one will hire me. Well, Dougie, it sounds like it's your problem. Well, I just want some KFC. I wish there was a way I could get free KFC for ebbs and ebbs and ebbs. Well, I don't see that happening, Dougie. Breaking news, okay? KFC is offering free chicken for life to anyone who can make them a new theme song that includes their new five-piece chicken meal for $4.99. You gotta be kidding me. You see that, Mom Bips? I prayed to God and he answered. That's how I'm gonna get my free chicken for life. But Dougie, you don't know how to make music. Yes, I do. All I have got to do is write a catchy jingle about how I love chicken so really good. But Dougie, you don't know how to make a song. Yes, I do. I just need a piece of pie bips and a pims. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, my bips, I'm gonna start writing the lyrics to my song. I like chicken so good. How do you spell chicken? See, you don't even know how to write, Dougie. Oh, so you're saying I should freestyle it. Good idea, my bips. I'm gonna get the microphone. All right, my bips, I got everything set up so I can record now. Well, can you record in another room? I'm trying to watch TV. No, I want to do it in here so you can tell me if it's good or not. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna start up the program. KFC is really, really good. 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 KFC, I love that chicken. It's so greasy, but finger licking. Breast in the thigh ain't talking about chicken. Back on topic, cause now I'm sipping. Slap my chicken, I stay pipping. Barbecue sauce, I'm straight dipping. Gold chain on, cause I be dripping. Full cup of soda, that Pepsi, I'm sipping. Tennis and breast, don't forget my size. If you got money, come along for the ride Chicken is good, so hard to find If you can't taste it, then your tongue is blind Sauce and bitches better be in the bag Or I'll turn around so fast, no lag Crazy for the cock, but I ain't no fat Hey, where'd the beat go? Oh, there it is It came back, unlike my daddy Anyway, KFC, five piece, four ninety nine. Go buy it, cause it really, really, so really good what do you think about that, Mom Bips? I don't think KFC is going to want you to rob about those inappropriate things. Well, I'm going to submit it. <sighs> All right, I just sent it to the KFC email. <laughs> Who's that? Well, hold on, let me answer the door, Dougie. Hello? Hey, uh, is Dougie here? Who? Uh, oh, your boy Dougie? Yeah, yeah, he's upstairs. Oh, well, uh, I'm here from KFC Corporate. I'm here because I heard that dope-ass song he made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that shit was straight gas, uh, uh, uh fossil fuels. Who, who let him cook? My, my compliments to the chef. Uh, I'm trying to say I liked his song. Oh, did he win the competition? Well, no, but I, I do want to talk to him. Oh, he's upstairs. Okay, so can I talk? Oh, all right, um. Hey, Dougie, this guy from KFC is here to talk to you. Ooh, did I win the competitions? Well, not quite, but I can tell you your song was one of the dankest. Well, what's I'm supposed to do to win? Well, you see, this other guy submitted a song that might even be danker than yours. No way. Unfortunately, yes way, and I'm afraid he might actually win. Why do you care if he wins? Well, I was really hoping we could rig the competition so Dougie could win. Why would you want Dougie to win the competition? So he can split his free fried chicken with me. I love KFC chicken. You work for KFC. Don't you get free chicken? No, they don't actually let us eat the chicken. None of us since this one guy stole a bunch of money out of the cash register. 
Hey, wait a minute. I'm so sorry. Now you definitely owe me chicken. Well, do we even have to rig the competition? Like, is the other guy's song even good? Is it good? Is the movie 80 for Brady good? No, it's fucking atrocious. Just stick to football, Tom. But uh, yeah, the other guy's song's pretty good. He even has a music video. Well, then let's watch it. What, 80 for Brady? No, thank you. I've seen it once, and that was enough. No, no, I meant the music video. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. Let me get my phone. All right, check this out. Okay, Jonathan, what do you want me to do? Wait, what is this? This is me doing the cinnamon challenge a couple years ago. All you have to do is take that spoonful of cinnamon and put it in your mouth. Well, I do like cinnamon, but Jonathan, I gotta go fight fires and figure out why I look like this. Oh, what's wrong, Brooklyn guy? You a chicken? No. What? Okay, fine. I'll do it. It can't be that bad. I mean, just cinnamon, right? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I could not stop coughing. Never try this. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna show me the music video. Oh yeah yeah. Here, here you go. Yo KFC. What's up KFC? I need some chicken. I'm hungry. Yo KFC. Where that chicken at? I need some chicken. Order, please. Yo. KFC, that chicken, what? I need some chicken. My order. Yo, KFC. Sure it's extra crunch. I need some chicken. I need my chicken extra crispy. Place my order. Don't forget me. How many pieces you need? I had to tell the lady 50. Need my biscuit and my sausage. Don't care how much that shit costs. If you get my order wrong, I leave you licking like a faucet. Side of mac and cheese. Don't have to tell you, please. Make sure my chicken extra crunchy when it's out the grease. Got your girl on her knees. Munching on chicken wings. She said it's too hot like it was 200 degrees. Ah, KFC chicken. Five pieces. Huh? Ooh, for four ninety nine. What? Who could beat that, nigga? Who could beat that? Nobody can, huh, nigga? Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too damn good. We should kill him. What? Yeah, he can't win the competition if he's dead. No, we're not gonna kill anyone over chicken. It's free chicken. How about we do something less illegal? Hmm, yeah, we should kidnap his kid and then hold his kid for ransom until he drops out of the competition. Good no, idea. No, we're not gonna kidnap a kid over chicken. It's not just chicken. It's 11 herbs and spices on the chicken. It's KFC. Okay, you, you see this man? This is Colonel Sanders. He's him. This is the face of a man who would kidnap another man's kid for some free chicken. Who knows what he would do for his chicken? How about we just re-record the song and make it better? Nah, that sounds boring. I think we should do the kidnapping. What do you think, Dougie? I'm down with it. Whatever we've got to do to get the chicken. See, that's the mentality I like. Yes, we should do the kidnapping. Now, I did my research. I know he has a son and he has a wife we could kidnap, but I think we should go for the kid because it really hits you right in the heart. Well, I don't want anything to do with this. Well, me and you have to do it, Marvin, because if Dougie gets caught, he'll be disqualified and we can't have that. I'm not kidnapping a kid. It has to just be me and you, Marvin, two normal guys with mustaches. You work for KFC. They're gonna know. They're not gonna know. Come on, Marvin. Kidnapping. Chicken. Come on! Okay, fine! Yeah, come on. Alright, the kid lives here. Okay, so you wanna like go around to his window and like kidnap him through his room? No, we're just gonna ring the doorbell. Ring the doorbell? What if the parents answer and they call the cops? The parents aren't gonna answer. Look, only three people live here. The mom, the dad, and the kid. And who always answers the door? The kid, because the parents are too lazy. What if the kid doesn't answer the door? It's gonna be the kid. Don't worry, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Hello? Shit. Oh, what do you find robbers want? Uh, uh, we were just in the neighborhood, and we were wondering if your son was home. Yeah, he's home, but what do you need him for? Uh, uh we, we are with the FRA, the Future Robbers of America, and we go around recruiting kids to be robbers, and we wanted to know if your son would be interested. You know, we could take him on a rob-along, show him the ropes. That, that's why we brought this rope. Oh, I think he'd love that. Let me go get him. Cody, there's some very nice robbers at the door to see you. What, I'm sorry, what, robbers? Yeah, there's these two nice men in ski masks with a rope and they want to talk to you. What, no, Mom, call the police. Now, Cody, everybody deserves second chances. And besides, they have a very wonderful opportunity for you. What, what are they selling Crime Scout cookies? No, what if they kidnap me? You're just gonna end up having to call Liam Neeson. Now, Cody, I'm not gonna ask you again. You go talk to those robbers or I'm taking away your bidet privileges. I do really like that bidet. Okay, I'll talk to him. Uh, hello? Grab him, grab him, come on, guys, man, man! All right, we got him. So what do we do now? Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we're kidnapping you. Oh, okay, I, I just want to know how many I'm going to take at once. I really wish I had a chance to shower before I came here. The pizza in the school cafeteria gives me the runs, and I don't know if anybody wants to take the water slide down the sewage plant. Well, well no, we kidnapped you so we could talk to your dad. You guys know he has a phone, right? You could have just called him. Well, yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, give, give us his phone number so that we can call him, and then we can tell him that if he doesn't drop out of the KFC competition, we're going to kill you. Uh, okay. Marvin, grab your phone. What, don't say my name. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, his, his name's not actually Marvin. His name is Gary. Marvin's his secret name. Yeah, that's not my name. 
Okay, you know, I'm over here all the time. I know who owns this house, and that guy's not even wearing a mask. What, Dougie, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, was I not supposed to be here? No, get out of here. Okay. And his name isn't Dougie either. No, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Mark. Yeah. Okay. M Marvin, get your phone. Oh, okay. Uh, not Marvin. No, no, uh, Gary. No, that's your... Okay, it's ringing. All right, kid, tell your dad we're gonna kill you if he doesn't drop out of that KFC competition. Okay. Hello? <clears throat> Uh, hey, Dad, I got kidnapped, and these guys say they're gonna kill me if you don't drop out of some kind of KFC competition? Well, I already got the chicken, because I won. <laughs> wait, wait hold, hold on, you already have the chicken? Yeah, they dropped it off right now! <laughs> oh, well, uh, uh, we have your son, so if you don't give us some of that chicken, we're, we're gonna kill him. I don't care about that boy, I'll just be banging his mama! <laughs> oh, okay then. Well, sorry to bother you. Bye. Mm, yeah, bye. Uh, well, I mean, you heard that. That dude was on speakerphone. Oh, yeah, I already knew he wasn't my dad. That's not really a surprise. Okay, well, you're gonna be cool if we just, like, let you go, right? You're not gonna tell on us? Oh, no. I'm actually into this kind of thing, so this is great for me. I I if you don't mind, I just want to stay tied up. Okay, sure. Well, we lost. So I don't get no chicken? No, we lost the competition. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to go to Popeye's? Oh, I love me some Popeye's. Yeah, Popeye's is pretty good. Yeah, I like Popeye's. Okay, everybody, hop on my big, long, invisible horse. Man, that was really good. Yeah, a little too good. I think we should kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <gasps> Booker! Bad Booker! Let go of the pillow! Marvin! Oh, what's wrong, baby? Booker's destroying the pillow! Oh, bad Booker! Stop that! Jeffy! What's up, gang? You damn dinosaur won't stop chewing on the pillow! Stop him! Bad Booker! Bad, bad, bad! Okay, we're all just yelling at him. Jeffy, grab him! Let's go! <laughs> uh, Booker, no bite in the pillow, okay? Oh, just bad bite Booker, me! Stop he it right me. now! Oh, oh, he just bit me! Marvin, what's gotten into Booker? He's been destroying everything! Lately. I don't know. He just bit me. We should call a vet and see if he has mad cow disease. Um, Daddy, Booger's not a cow. But I know, Jeff. I just want to make sure he doesn't have rabies. I'm calling a vet. Hey there. Somebody call a vet on his lunch break? See the chicken leg? I put this chicken down an hour ago. The family's still crying, but I told him, don't worry. Mr. Cluckins is delicious. So what do you want? So vet... Do I call you vet? I don't know. Can I call you unemployed bald man? Well, listen, look. I have this pet dinosaur, and he won't stop destroying stuff and acting crazy. We don't know why he's acting like that. Uh-huh. Well, I'm not an expert, but it seems to me like he's a dinosaur, and that's just what dinosaurs do. But I, I want him to act like a house cat, you know? I want him just to lay around and sleep. Well, you know what they say. You can't turn a whore into a housewife, so why would you be able to turn a dinosaur into a house cat? I, I think that's how the saying goes. Look, my main point is my first wife was a whore. Marvin, maybe Booger's lonely and we should get him another dinosaur friend. Oh yeah, two dinosaurs. That seems like a good idea. You know, because the first dinosaur is destroying everything. So yeah, a second dinosaur should even things out. This is turning into Jurassic Park. Well, baby, I don't even know where we would get another pet dinosaur from. Well, I guess you could always get a portal gun that'll open a portal through time and then just grab a dinosaur out of the past. But I don't know where you'd get one of those, so don't even ask me. Yeah, baby, I don't know what we're going to do. You know, actually, my great-grandfather was a tinkerer. He would tinker from time to time. And I think one time he tinkered up a portal gun like that. I think I have it laying around the attic somewhere. So can we have it? Mm, I guess I can take a look for it. Here, hold my chicken leg. Ooh. Don't bite it. It's mine. All right, I'm back. Behold, Ow. the Portal Gun 5000. This bad boy can open up a portal to any place and any time, but it doesn't have very much juice left. I think we only have one shot at this. Okay, so what's the plan? Okay, the plan is I'm going to open up a portal up there. Then we're going to take some kind of food and tie a string to it and throw it through the portal and go fishing for a dinosaur. Why don't we use your chicken leg? Oh, I wanted that. Okay. Hey, lady woman. Um, rose? No, that's a kind of flower. Okay, what you're going to do is tie a string to that chicken leg. Right now? No, two years from now. Go! Fine! Really? You picked her to be your wife? What's the rest of the plan? Okay, so what we're gonna do is whenever she gets back eventually with my chicken leg with a string on it, we're gonna throw it through the portal, and whenever we feel a tug on the string, we know a dinosaur's biting it, then we just yank the dinosaur through the portal. Why don't we just go in the portal and grab the dinosaur ourselves? Are you kidding me? I don't want to go back to dinosaur times. It's scary. What if we get stuck there? There's no McDonald's or Hulu. Okay, your plan's good. Okay, good. Where's my goddamn chicken leg? It's right here. Okay, good. You hold on to that. Ugh. Okay, let's make this portal. Everybody stand back. <laughs> oh, Booger, come back! Oh, cool. It actually worked. All right, throw the chicken leg in it. Okay, give it to me. Okay. Give it to okay. me. Okay.
All right, now we just have to wait for something to pull on the string. Whoa, whoa, that's a big one. Oh, man, whatever dinosaur this is must love chicken. Whoa, Marvin, he's fighting me. Help me. Uh, 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 he's pulling really hard. Yeah, I know. The way he's pulling, you'd think he was my ex-wife. You know, because she's fat and she loves food. Pull! Uh, 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 where'd he go? Ooh, 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 that chicken was good. He can talk? Huh, I guess when scientists found dinosaur fossils, they didn't find out if they could talk or not. Can you guys please give me some old chicken? Please? Well, you're hungry? Oh, I'm so hungry. All I've had today is a Happy Meal. A Happy Meal? So they did have McDonald's back then. I guess we can go to KFC or Popeye's. <gasps> oh, the KFC or the Popeye's. Yeah, but the reason we brought you here is because we have another dinosaur that we want you to hang out with. Oh, is it my cousin Pookie? Because his ass owes me five dollars. I, I don't know if it's a Pookie, but, but Booger, get in here. <laughs> oh, here go, Pookie ass. You owe me five dollars. <laughs> Oh, don't you run away from me, Pookie! You know you owe me money! Uh oh, so, so that is Pookie? Yeah, that Pookie right there. Uh, okay, well look, how about we'll go get you some KFC or some Popeyes and you can eat that, but we need you to hang out with Booger and teach him how to act right, okay? I ain't no babysitter unless you're gonna pay me some money! Oh, uh, we'll pay you in chicken, so... Okay, So you right. teach Booger how to act normal, and I'm gonna go get you some chicken. Bye. Right. Okay, well I did everything I came here to do, so I guess I'm just gonna take my Tinker gun and go home. All right, I got you a big bucket of KFC chicken. Ooh, thank you so much. You're so good to me. What your name is, white boy? My name is Marvin. Oh, Marvin the Chicken Man. What's your name? My name is your boy, Dougie. Dougie? No, your boy, Dougie. I have to say that your boy part every time? Yeah, or else I ain't gonna know who you talking to. All right, your boy, Dougie. This is your bucket of chicken. Oh, my chicken. Thank you so much. You got anything to drink? Uh, yeah, let me see what I got. All right, the only thing we had to drink was grape Kool-Aid. Oh, the Kool-Aid! Is it good? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I don't know. Look at the ingredients and see if there's anything you don't like. Ribbo flat bills. How about I make you a glass of it? All right. All right, here's your glass of water. Wait, wait a minute! You already ate all the chicken? Yeah, because it was really good. Can I please get some more chicken? Maybe try the Popeyes. What? No, you're not getting any more chicken. You still gotta have some Kool-Aid. Oh, that purple is Kool-Aid! Yeah, I'm gonna pour some in the cup. All right. All right, now, drink that. Oh, that was so good. Can I have some more? Well, you haven't finished the glass yet. But I still want you to put a little bit more Kool-Aid in there. Oh, you want more Kool-Aid? Yeah. All right, that's enough. Can you put a little bit more in there? Well, I don't want to overflow it. Well, I want you to do what Olive Garden does when they put the cheese on the salad. I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this seems like it's a lot. No, please keep going. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think I don't think we should put any more. No, keep going. I ain't tell you to stop yet. Uh, I don't want it. It's, gonna, it's overflowing. It, All right, that's good. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah. there you go, your boy Dougie. Uh, There's your Kool Aid. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna go get Booger, so or or your your cousin Pookie. Just don't make a mess. But Booger, stop it! All right, your boy Dougie, can you please stop Booger from being a bad dinosaur? How's I supposed to do that? I don't know, he destroys stuff and I want him to stop it. I mean, I could try. Hey, stop it. <laughs> well, I've done all I could do. Hey, Marvin, you mind if I get some more purpleless Kool-Aid and some fried chickens? No, no more Kool-Aid and fried chicken until we stop Booger from being bad. Hey, Danny, can I play Call of Duty? But no, Jeffy. No Call of Duty until you finish your chores. Well, I don't want to do my chores. Go do your chores, Jeffy. Aw, what's a Call of Duty? It's a video game that Jeffy plays, like a shooting game. Well, can I try to play it? I mean, are you a dinosaur? Can you even play it? I mean, I could try. Oh, oh, look, I'm so good at the game! Ba, 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 ba. We, really, we really need to focus on Booger. Marvin, can I please have the map pack? What, how much are the map packs? $20 plus packs and fees. Ugh. Look, here's my wallet. All I want you to do is grab my credit card out of it, and all you can do is buy the map packs. Do not buy anything else but the map packs. You hear me? Okay, you can trust me. All right, Booger! <laughs> I'm about to go shopping, boy. I'm about to give me some new shoes. I'm about to give me a chain. I'm about to give me a hat. <laughs> Your boy, Dougie, don't take his wallet. Uh, Booger, stay still. Stay still. Ow, oh, he just bit me. Oh, Booger, I'm looking clean, boy. What? Your boy, Dougie. Huh? Well, where'd you get all this stuff? Your wallet. What? My wallet? What? How much were those shoes? 500. What? 500 what? Dollars. What? 500 dollars? How much was that chain? Three stacks. Three stacks? Like Oreos, double stuff. Well, I told you only to buy the map packs. Oh, I forgot about the map packs. Hold on, let me do this real quick. No, 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 you gotta go. Where, where are we going? No, no, not where are we going, where you're going. You're going back to prehistoric times. I don't want to leave here. I get fried chicken, I get Call of Duty, and I get purple Kool-Aid. Yeah, but you overstayed your welcome. You're supposed to help with Booger. Oh, you need help with the Booger? Yeah. 
Here, get that book out. Wait, no, no, the, the dinosaur. Oh, you mean Pookie Ratchet ass? Pookie, get in here, boy. Man, stop being a dickhead. Oh. I did what I could do. Oh, no, 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 I am calling the vet and you're going back. Hey there, you call me back? Ask me about the bacon. Why do you have bacon? I just put down Porky Pig, so ba -ba 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 that's all, folks. Well, listen, I want this second dinosaur to leave. Oh, how about that? The second dinosaur was a bad idea. Who could have seen that coming? Well, listen, this dinosaur's not destroying stuff. He's just spending my money and mooching off me. Yeah, it sounds like my first wife. So, look, I want him to go. So, can you, like, grab that portal gun, make a portal, and we throw him back? You know what we should have done is done that to begin with and have no dinosaurs because dinosaurs shouldn't be pets. Okay, yeah, you know, if you make a portal, I'll throw both dinosaurs in the portal and we won't have any more dinosaurs. Okay, well, lucky for you, I already brought my portal gun because I thought this might happen. All right, so, so make the portal. Everybody stand back! It, it's, it's not working. Well, shake it till something comes out. It's not my wiener. That's, that's an old vet joke. I'll try again. Nope. Nothing's happening. I think it's out of juice. Well, we'll tinker with it and make, make something happen. Hey, I'm not the tinkerer my great-grandfather was. I can't just tinker a, a portal gun like this, okay? Well, tink of something. Huh, that's a good one. But no, really, I can't fix this. Well, so I'm stuck with him? Yeah, it looks like it. Ooh! Where am I going to sleep? Well, no, no. Can I take him to, like, the pound or, like, like let him loose outside? No, 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 no. If anybody found out what we were doing here, I'm pretty sure the CIA would kill us. Dinosaurs are not supposed to be here. And, and besides, you can't just let him loose in the wild. What if he mates with a goose or something? You have, like, a dino goose. Nobody wants that. Okay, so I have to stick with it. He has to stay here? Yeah, at least until we make another portal gun. <sighs> okay, your boy Dougie, you get to stay here, but there's going to be some rules. Okay, what type of rules? All right, well, you're going to help with Booger every day. What? No more tissue box, no boogers. You, your stupid dumb cousin Pookie. Okay, well, I ain't doing nothing for Pookie until he gave me my $5. I'll, okay, I'll get you your $5, okay? That's fine. So, so what do dinosaurs eat? Um, people. Okay, yeah, yeah, how about you just eat chicken every day? Would that be good? Okay, I love me some KFC, and I love me some Kool-Aid. Okay, so you get chicken and Kool-Aid, but you'll help with booger, I mean, pookie, mm -hmm. every day. So, mm -hmm. thank you, vet. Thank you for trying. Can you just see if you can get the portal gun to work in the future? I, I guess I'll try. Well, baby, it looks like we have two dinosaurs. At least pookie has a friend. Well, don't call him pookie. Oh, Marvin, I still need the mat pet. <sighs> can't wait to eat my meatball sub. And I can't wait to eat my vegan tofu ball sub. Mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to eat dog shit. Jeffy, that is healthy. Well, dang, why do I have to eat the green bean sub and you guys get the yummy meatball sub? Because, Jeffy, you're really young, so you have to live a long time, so you have to eat healthier. Oh, well, so that means if you eat that, that means you'll die soon, and then I'll get to eat whatever the hell I want? Jeffy, just shut up and eat. <laughs> Well, I had to make room in my belly for my meatball sub. Oh, well, I had to make room in my belly for this. <laughs> Ew, Jimmy, don't, don't blow it this way. Go open up a window. All right, I'm just going to take this with me. You're disgusting, Jeffy. I open the window. I'm just going to throw this out there. Jeffy, where's your sandwich? I ate it. Where's the plate? I put it in the dishwasher. Aw, good job, Jeffy. Yeah, I'm a responsible boy. Well, Jeffy, you let two flies in the house. Go close the window. Okay. Oh, no, Marvin. One's on my sandwich. Shoot, shoot. Ugh, there's one in my face. I got it. Ow. Oh, no, Daddy's on the back of your head. Ow. 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 stop it. Aw, it's back on my sandwich again. I got it. Ow, Jeffy. Give me that. Ow. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh, you know. Boy, stop it! Uh, he won't stop hitting me. Oh, right now. He won't stop hitting me. Uh, oh, you know what, Jeffy? That's it. Do, do we that? We're gonna use raid, okay? To get rid of these stupid flies. No more hitting me with it. Okay. I got the raid. Where are the two flies at? They flew away, Marvin. Did they fly back outside? No, Dan. You told me to close the window. Oh, Jeffy, can you go looking for the flies? You want me to search the entire house for two flies? Well, your eyes look in two different directions, so it shouldn't be too hard. That is true. I'm on it, Daddy. Marvin, that was mean. Baby, I want those flies dead. They ruined our meatball date. I was about to go down on these balls. That was sus, Daddy. Jeffy, go look for the flies. All right. Hmm, where could these flies be? What the... Okay, meatball sub, get in my mouth. Ah. Daddy! The two flies are banging on my bed! What? Yeah, come here! Oh, they're trying to reproduce, baby. 
Not my watch. Take that, you flying bitches! Yeah, you flying whores! What? Stop banging on my bed! No, Jimmy, where are the flies at? I don't know, Danny. They were just right here. You're not lying to me, are you? No. <gasps> Danny, look. Oh my god. They had babies! Jeffy, quick! Let's leave the room and close the door and lock them in here! Alright, Danny! Okay, Jeffy, we locked them in the room. Well, what do we do now? We're gonna have to call a bug guy. Come on! Baby, where's my phone? What's wrong, Marvin? Those two flies. They reproduce and now there's thousands of them. What? Yeah, but don't worry. I locked them in a room. Well, is that gonna work? It's gonna work for now until we call an exterminator and I know exactly who to call. Just, where's my phone? <laughs> Okay, I found my phone. It's ringing. Please answer. Hello, I'm cooking dinner. What you want? Uh, we're trying to hire an exterminator. I'm retired. I'm sorry. Well, no, you don't understand. You're really good at killing flies, and there's a bunch of flies in my house. I stopped killing flies a long time ago after I avenged my dead grandfather. Well, can you come please kill a few more flies? They're all in my house. I vow to never kill another fly again. I'm sorry. You'll have to find someone else. Uh, Marvin, what? Oh my god! There's thousands of flies coming out of my air vents! I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do! Hey! Your grandfather was a pussy! What'd you say to me, Fry? I said your grandfather was a pussy and you're a pussy too! Oh, I'll come over there! Kick your ass, Fry! I'd like to see you try, pussy! Oh, pussy! I'll call you pussy! I'm on my way and I'm gonna kill all those fries! Okay, he's on his way to kill the flies. That must be him! Hello? Where is it? Where's the goddamn fry? What is that? This is my assault rifle. It shoots salt at fries and kills them. Salt kills flies? Yes, because to fry, salt is like little tiny bullets. See the salt? Yeah, because real bullets are too big to kill the fry. Well, this is gonna kill the flies. Oh, it's gonna kill the real good. Oh, okay, come upstairs. Look, 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 all the flies are in here. Oh my oh God, that's a swarm of fries. Now, which one of them called me pussy? Uh, I think it was that one. Oh, you're gonna die, you son of a bitch! They're dropping like flies! Oh no, I ran out of salt! <laughs> it's time to whip out Old Faithful. This is for my grandfather! He ain't no pussy! And neither am I! Oh, oh no, they're taking me away! Help me! Oh no! They're getting me too! Ah! Uh, what's going on? They tied us up and they're gonna kill us like they did my grandma! I don't wanna die! I don't wanna die either! Listen up! Today, you killed 13 of my brothers, so you will be punished with your lives! Currently, we are spreading lighter fluid around your house, and Tommy here will use this match and set your house on fire, burning you to death! Yeah! I'm gonna burn you all to death, you pussies! Damn it, I didn't get him! Oh, come on, can we work something out? Nope, you're gonna die. So don't even try escaping, because we have flies guarding the door. Oh, man, I don't wanna die. I got an idea. We can call my son. He's very good at killing flies. But if someone can reach into my pocket and grab my phone, we can call him for help. My hands are tied up. So are mine. Oh, my God. Jeffy, your hands are free. If you can just reach into his pocket and grab his phone, we can call his son. Hurry. Hurry. All right, I'm looking for it. I think I got something. That's my egg roll. Oh. Oh, okay, I found your phone now. All right, it's ringing. Uh, hello, welcome to Great Wild China Restaurant. How may I take your oob? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get two orders of yum yum rice, please? Oh, uh, yeah, the rum and rice. Anything else? Oh, don't forget the egg roll. You got one in your pants. Ooh, I want some spring rolls. And an order of spring rolls, please. Oh, uh, yeah, the spring roll. You want something to drink with that? Only $6 a month. What are you guys doing? Tell them about the flies. Oh, yeah, your daddy's tied up and there's flies everywhere. Holy shit, the flies got the back hapu. I'm on my way. He said he's on his way. Is he bringing the spring rolls? Forget about the food, we're about to die! <laughs> die, you stupid fry! Where's my papu? <laughs> die, you mariachi fry piece of shit! A papu, I come to a 
say, Boo? You did good, too. Did you bring the spring rolls? Shut up about food. Untie us. Okay, I will untie you. Yeah, you gotta untie us so we can avenge your great grandfather. The papu, whatever happened to the great grandfather? You never tell me. I think you're old enough to know, too. Everyone got time for a story? I'd like to be saved first. I'll tell you a story. Your great grandfather was a warrior. A Chinese samurai defending the Great Wall of China from the Mongolian fries. The fries would try to fry over the Great Wall to take over China, and he would shoot them down with his bow and arrow and cut them in half with his sword. And after a long day of battle, he'd go home and he'd make a bowl of chicken fried rice, and he was eating it with his chopsticks. And as he take a bite, a fry fry into his mouth. And he started choking, like <laughs> And he fall over and die. I was just a little kid at the time. And I woke up and went into the kitchen, holding my Branky to get a glass of rice milk. And I see my grandfather on the ground and I say, Wake up, grandfather! Wake up! And I poke him with his chopsticks. And I find out he dead. And I cry. So I take his samurai sword. And I go outside and practice. And next day, I go out and kick Mongolian fry ass to avenge my grandmother. Uh, uh, that story is so sad. I wish I could have met my great grandpa. That's why we have to kill all the fries to avenge your great grandmother. That made me want to kill every fry. Can you untie us first? Sure. Come here, fry. Go get him, too! Why did he untie us first? Uh, Jeffy, use your open hand and cut us open. <laughs> okay, I got the rope off. Let's get out of here. We gotta go see if my son, too, needs help. He might need backup. But the house might burn down. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Come on, Jeffy. Well, then it's up to me. Mm-mm-mm. My meatball sub is almost done. Get out of here, you stupid fly! Me, pussy! Wait, what'd you say? What the? Oh, thank you for killing that fly for me. Oh, uh, this is no problem. Oh my god! Tommy, no! Get him, guys! Wait, where did all these flies come from? I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, you're dead now, and no one's here to save you. <laughs> There was salt in the pantry. You saved my life, father. No, too. You saved my life by carrying all those fries. You just like your great grandpa. <gasps> I'm like a great grandpa. I'm so honored. Yeah, let's go celebrate with some chicken fried rice and some rice milk. Okay. Marvin, I'm so glad all those flies are gone and that the house wasn't burned down. We're never opening a window ever again. Oh my god! Marvin, there's a fly left! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! No, no, don't kill me! I'm a baby! Oh, Martin, it's just a baby fly. Can we keep it? What the? Good job, too. Uh, it's dead now. Well, now time for Bill. You call exterminator and we exterminate. Uh, I forgot that I had to pay you guys. Get him, too. What the? Ow! Next time you pay, pussy boy! Yeah, pussy! Are they gone? Discovery Solar Robot. How long is that gonna take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's gonna take forever, baby. But it says easy build. Yeah, Danny, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says age is eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's gonna take to build, eight plus. No, Danny, look at how many pieces. What the, what the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece. That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Daddy, that's light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Daddy. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. Look, how about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Daddy. I guess I'll just play with matches. What? No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Daddy. Never gonna build that. It'll take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. 
Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Daddy, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! Jeffy, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy! It's the size of elephant poop! Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it. Come see it! Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he crapped in the bathtub and he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm gonna make you clean it up. Come on. She they look! What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop! Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs, and I don't know what these are. They look really old. Well, let me call an egg expert. But pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, daddy. Hey, Leah, somebody call an expert? I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> Get it? Now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, and we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs. Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck. Frag grenade out. Huh. Not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Mervin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <sighs> All right, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle them up? No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They yeah, should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, I you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're uh, yeah, okay, uh, Jesus Christ, Booger, just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, you I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jeff? pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants? Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the men. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger, hey, you know what you can do for me? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? Let no, me, I don't. Check you get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no boogers up there, but there's a booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <gasps> oh, yeah! I got your tissues, Brooklyn guy! Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get nice. Oh, fuck! I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, can I borrow $70? Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poopers game! There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poopers in the Expedition of Hobbles. You get to see Dumbledoofus, you also get to give a Dobby his sock back, and you get to see Hermione's fine ass. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. Have a good day, Bibbs. Okay, well, all I have is a... It's a hundred dollars. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, and you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. Skrr! You 
said they were valuable. Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know. Thousands? Oh, the thousands? Stacks? Mother, we should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're gonna hatch, and they're 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 like dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh come on, Ma Bibs. We could get some money. We're we not. We'd be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Ma Bibs. All right, baby. Let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right then, as long as it's cause of that. So you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them, cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million, cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million badillion? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're going to hatch? Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie. They're endangered. Let it go. But, folk, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down. No, you no, this is my money. Give it to me! Oopsie daisy! Doug, you just killed that egg! Well, if you wouldn't let me have it, then I could have sold it for some money and it would still be alive! Doug, I'm gonna get in so much trouble, that was illegal what you just did! Well, if you're gonna get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs! Fine, just keep it! Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie! Dougie, get back here! Oh, no! Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg! No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drop it! I ain't do nothing wrong! Well, Dougie, just get out of here! Baby, we lost another egg! What? How? Because Ma Bibbs tried to push me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're gonna get arrested! Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? Because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we need help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger sit on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened? It doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by the time in middle school, when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee, H-O-W-S-E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you're the man. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. Please, please do But that. don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how you crushed Rebecca Smith oh, and you pooped Rebecca. your pants. Oh. Remember everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Pooby pants the man. Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booger. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you. I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Well, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So, so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen. listen. We, got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Brooklyn guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, 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 hold on, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The manliest man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be, do the right thing, Brooklyn guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three, and... There's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs. All right, let's go sell them. All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one in the black market. Well, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. No, these are not real dinosaur eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are. Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real. So, so these are not real. No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the dig em up dinosaur eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen.
So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know.